Hello everyone and welcome back to my dorm room. It's that time of year again where it's starting to warm up, people are feeling better, school's almost out, and most importantly, prom! Prom is something you look forward to your entire high school career. Career? So, I was inspired to do this braces compatible makeup look for prom. Very bronzy, very, just very fun. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Leg up. So first things first, we're going to be doing our eyebrows. And what I'm going to be using is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Blonde. And then I'm going to be taking this flat brush from Amazon to just fill them in. I'm also going to be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette Mirror as a reference for what I'm doing. So I'm just going to be taking the brush and putting it onto the sides, kind of scraping off the excess, and then just going right in. So what I like to do is just lightly go into my brow in hair-like strokes. So just with a very light hand, I'm not pressing down too hard, I'm just lightly filling in my brows. So this part of the eyebrow, what I see a lot of people doing is going very heavy with the product right in the front. Now what this does is it gives a very boxy, cartoonish look, and I mean if you're into that by all means go for it. But because this is more of a prom look, and that's just not my personal style, what I like to do is just lightly go in, very lightly with the lightest hand ever, and just gently fill in the front, and then I do a line underneath the brow as well. Very lightly though. Very lightly. Once I am done with the dip brow, I like to go into my shade and light palette and use these two dark colors here just to add a little bit more texture to the brows to make them look more like hair and less like clay and or makeup. Put a little bit of product on my brush and I'm just gently going over my Anastasia dip brow just to give it that eyebrow texture and not a clay like texture. I'm also putting some in the front of my brow as well, just very, very. Now taking my eyebrow brush, I'm just going to be blending in the product a little bit more, especially in the front. I'm just blending it and putting the hairs in place. Now I'm going to go do the other eyebrow and I will be right back. So now that I have my eyebrows done, we are going to carve them out using the Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser and another flat brush. So what I like to do with this is just put it on the back of my hand to heat it up because apparently that helps. Don't know why I failed chemistry so. And then taking the brush I like to just put it in like so and then part out my brows. Essentially what this does is make your eyebrows look a lot more neat and tidy and a lot more precise, especially if you don't pluck, wax, or thread your eyebrows. Now I'm just going to be blending it in with my finger, blending downwards, not upwards, just to prevent concealer getting into your brow. Now taking the excess on the back of my hand, I'm just going to be using a finger and applying it to the eyelid as a primer for eyeshadow. Now because concealer tends to crease very, very fast, I'm going to set it now and I'm just going to be using the white shade in my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm just going to set the eye. You can use any powder you really choose to. I'm just choosing to do this because it's convenient for me right now since it's right in front of my face. Alright, so now that that is done, we are going to jump right on over into the eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using is this light color from, of course, 
my shade and light palette. This will just be a transition color for the following eyeshadow that we're going to be using since we are going bold today, girl. Bold. I'm just using a big fluffy brush to apply this. I'm just going to be applying it all over the lid, but focusing more on the crease of my eye. Something I see a lot of girls doing too is applying eyeshadow very up at the front like this. The way that you should apply eyeshadow if you wanted to give a more blend -len, blended, blend -len, blend -len? blended look is to take it by the end of the brush and just let the brush do the work. That's the beauty of the brush. After that's all done, we are going to be taking this darker brown shade, applying it to the fluffy brush again, and tapping off the excess. We're going to focus this more on the crease than anything. I'm just gently applying it with a very, very light hand. Your eyes are sensitive. This is some of the most sensitive skin on your body. You want to be very gentle with it. Also, who wants wrinkles? Not me. So now we are going to be switching over palettes and using our Jaclyn Hill palette. Look at that. So the color that I'm going to be taking is this mauve orangey brown color. I don't really know. Is there a name for that? Firework! We're gonna be taking firework, tapping it, and applying it. Be sure that when you do this, you tap and you don't blow the excess product off. When you blow, what that tends to do is put bacteria on your brush since our mouths aren't usually 100% clean. Anyway. <laughs> So I'm just going to be focusing this right in the crease, but also blending upward to create a more seamless effect. Now I'm just going to be wiping off the fluffy brush and blending in the colors a little bit more. You want your brush to be clean just so that it blends seamlessly and doesn't add any more pigment. Now we are going to be taking the color Mocha right here on this little blendy brush, tapping off, and we are just going to focus this right on the crease. To do this, just look down into a mirror and just gently apply where your eye creases. Now I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and just blend that out. Alright, so now that we're done with that, we're going to start the cut crease. What I'm going to be using for that is the Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. Again, it's my favorite. I love it. I'm going to be putting this on the back of the Naked 2 brush. It's basically just a flat domed brush. Then what we're going to do is basically carve out the crease of your eye about halfway through. So just keep looking down. What I like to do is place it on the crease and then move downward. I'm just taking the opposite side of the Naked 2 brush. Now I'm going to be taking a small blended domed brush and this dark brown color. 
and we're just going to be defining the crease a little bit more. So to do that, you're just going to look down again and just ever so gently put it on top of where you cut your crease out. So now that that's done, we want to put something a little bit bolder in the crease. So I think what I'm going to do is put some sparkle in it. I'm going to use this bronzy shimmery color in the Jaclyn Hill palette to put over my crease because I think that'd be perfect for prom. Who doesn't love that, right? So to do that, I'm just going to be using the fluffy side of my Naked 2 brush. I don't have a lot of brushes. So this is what we're dealing with. I'm just going to put it on, tap it off, and apply in a padding motion. Now I'm just going to go and do the other side. Now onto eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Inked Tattoo Liner. You can get this at Sephora. It's amazing. It lasts forever. 10 out of 10. So I'm just going to be looking downwards and then winging it out. Now on to lashes, I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes with an eyelash curler as well as putting on some Makeup Forever mascara just to help blend with the eyelashes that I'm putting on. But also if you're not wearing eyelashes, this is a great way to give them a little bit of a boost and make them look thicker and longer. Looking down and popping it about five or six times as well. Here we go. Now I'm just gonna coat this gently because we don't want the mascara to cake up for eyelashes because this is just gonna make the false lashes look even more fake. So that's not what we want. Now on to lashes. I'm going to be using my favorite lashes of all time, the Socialize Eyelashes in Vixen. I have used them already. They're there. They're in there, I promise. Um, you can get these on Amazon, they're prime, so you'll get them in two days. They're amazing and gorgeous. I've been wearing these for like two years now and I still love them to this day. So I'm just gonna be taking the lash and putting my duo eyelash adhesive on the eye. This is the clear adhesive, not the black one, just because I tend to mess up my eyelashes quite a bit. So we don't want that to be noticeable. <laughs> and focusing it on the corners, the inner and the outer, since that wear, that's where, that wear, that's where they tend to perk up throughout the night, especially if you're going to a dance where you're like sweating and that's, that's no good. So be sure to wait at least 30 seconds before applying an eyelash to your eye. A lot of people mess up their eyelashes because they don't wait for the glue to get tacky before they put it on their eyes. So just wait, be patient. No one's rushing. So now we're just gonna apply the lash as close to the lash line as you can. Some people use tweezers for this. I don't just because I've kind of gotten the rhythm of applying false lashes. And it's just easier for me to use my fingers now. Now I'm just gonna do the other lash. All right, so now that the eyes are done, we are going to move on to the face. What you should do is definitely moisturize your face before putting on any product at all. This is just going to create a smooth base. I've already put on my moisturizer. I use the Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer. So now that I've moisturized my face, I'm going to be putting on the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. What this does is blur out any fine lines, marks, wrinkles, really anything. It's so amazing. <laughs> I'm just going to be 
blending it in. Now taking my very stained beauty blender, I promise it's clean. Even if it wasn't clean, what are you going to do about it? I promise it's clean. Maybe. For foundation, I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear foundation in the color NW15. But since I have a bit of a fake tan on, I'm going to be mixing it with NC30 just to get the perfect look. The perfect look. Skin tone. Now the best way for you to figure out if the foundation is the same color as your skin is to go out in natural light. And since you're probably going to be taking pictures outside anyway, it's probably for the best. So if you go into like your car or just bring a mirror outside and then test it to your neck, you can figure it out from there. Applying it like so. I'd say that's a pretty close match. So we're going for it. Now taking the beauty blender, I'm just gonna take the excess and just bounce it on my face. Be sure to get a little bit onto the neck as well and over by your ears. Now taking my Age Rewind once again, I'm going to be applying it under the eyes in a triangle shape. This is going to create more of a lifted effect to your eyes and your cheekbones, which is always nice. We're going to go down the nose, on the chin, and on the upper lip. This would also be the time to use concealer on any zits or imperfections if you so, if you so choose to. Before my under eyes decide to crease, we are going to set it. I'm just using my Laura Mercier translucent powder on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to be applying it under my eyes. Now, I wouldn't recommend using this exact powder if you're going to be taking pictures with flash, flash photography, just because it tends to leave a white cast on your photos or flashback. So what I would recommend using is the Makeup Forever uh, translucent powder because that does not give you flashback. So we're just going to set these bad boys. Maybe even bake them a little bit. Just so that everything stays in place. Along with our contour, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and we are going to be taking the second brown shade with a dome brush. I'm just going to swirl it in the product place it right in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm also going to be putting some on the forehead and under my lip. This creates a shadow of a bigger lower lip, so that's why I do it. And now we're just going to take the beauty blender again and we're just going to be blending upwards and not downwards. If you were to blend downwards, this would give you more of a drooped effect to the contour and also kind of like a beard look. And since we're not going for that today, we're going to blend upward. This creates a more lifted effect to your face. to set with powder. I'm taking my Real Techniques brush and my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I am just going to be applying this all over the face. Now to put the life back into my face, I'm going to be using my Hula bronzer and just putting it over the contour that we did. Now I'm going to take my Milani brush blush 
Now I'm going to take my Milani blush in the color Luminoso. 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 I don't know. Me swirling. It's happening. And applying. Now onto highlighter, I'm using my Becca highlighter in the shade of Moonstone, and I'm going to be applying it on the same brush because that's all we have. Right on the cheekbone, and a little bit on the tip of my nose, and then on the upper lip. I'm also going to be putting some on the brow bone as well. Hello? I'm recording. Sorry. <laughs> so now on to the most fun part of the video, we're going to be doing our lips. I'm going to be using the Jordana Easy Liner Lip Liner in the shade Tommy. Now going in with the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in I'm Nude. I'm just going to be placing this in the center of my lips and then blending it out. Now that the face is done, we can go back into the eyes and do the lower lashes in mascara. Now we're just going to set the face with a makeup setting spray. I am using the D-Slick setting spray from Urban Decay. Wow. So there you have it. This is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down below. If you want to keep up with me and my socials, they will all be linked right here. And if you want to keep up with Collins or the Dog socials, they will all be linked here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, keep smiling. It looks good on you. Bye, guys.